I play Laurel Lance. She is a um, you know, she is very driven. She is a go-getter. She has a huge heart, and I think she tries to see the best in everyone. Um, you know, even from a young age, I feel like she grew up with her sister and her father and her sister and mother. You know, she was a daughter, and um, she's going to take on the role of her, her mother, you know, and sort of being the anchor and really strong for her family. Um, and then as she grows older, you know, into when she doesn't become a lawyer, she sort of has to do the same thing. You know, she's very, very strong. Um, and again, very driven. And I think, you know, with Oliver, she she sees the potential in them. And, you know, the two of them, I think, grew up together. I think mean, there's a, a really, really strong connection between the two of them. They started out, you know, grade school as friends, and then it developed into a romantic relationship. And I think he is the love of her life. And he's just continuously, you know, disappointing her. And I think she does try to see the good, good in him as well. Um, and wants him to do good. But he, again, it's just a highlight. Sort of, she's continuously disappointed and gets her heart broken. And then the comic <laughs> did you ask Andy Preisberg? <laughs> what he told he us say? to ask you and you could tell us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> of course you would. <laughs> I don't know. I don't have an answer. Are we going to learn more about uh, Laurel and her sister growing up and see that backstory a little bit? Um, I'm not sure. I have, you know, I've read the second episode. That's all I really all I really know, but I have a feeling, yes, having read the second episode, that you do get uh, more of a sense of the history between all these all these individuals and the relationships, and um, you will get to see some more of the backstory. So what excites you about the What excited me? Um, it was, you know, I thought it was really cool that it was based on series. Um, so not knowing anything, just knowing that got me to read it. And then once I read it, the script was awesome. Um, and then finding out that Greg Berlanti, David Nutter, and Andrew Kreisberg, and, and Mark Guggenheim, like having all these people involved just made me, these are the people that you want to work with as an actor. And I really wanted to do you know, some sort of action type show. Um, and this was a perfect opportunity. And, you know, I really connected with Laurel, and it's weird when I read when I read the script, there was no attached to it, um, and I literally I told Stephen, I didn't know Stephen, I'd never seen Stephen before, but I literally pictured Stephen, <laughs> like his, I don't know what it is, but like when they cast him, I was like, yes, well, thank you, of course, this is exactly who I was picturing in my head, and. Um, you know, after he got cast, they went in for a meeting and they sort of pitched the show to me and that got me really excited. So it sort of all happened organically. And how is it working with Steven? It's great. He's a really hard worker, um, very professional, and he's just, and he's also so positive and confident. And it's just somebody as a co star, you know, that's, that's the co star you want. You want the one who's like, he's excited to be there. So responsible and works hard and is there to like get his job done and do the best that he possibly can do. Uh, so do you make him pull up the shirt? Do you make him pull up the shirt even when it's not written in his shirt? <laughs> no, but what I did, I, I did make him do is he filmed himself doing those chin, those like salmon, whatever they're called, chin up things um, before he shot it. He did it like at a warehouse where he was learning to do it and he videotaped himself and so I literally made him did it with his shirt off <laughs> he videotaped himself so I would make him play him play me the video and it was funny because like any time we would go out like with the cast or friends or if I was with him or and someone hadn't seen it I'd be like oh my gosh you have to see this, <laughs> see this. get your phone out and so I would like make him play this video 
for a few, and he was all like embarrassed, but that was cool. <laughs> you uh, talk about Laurel being disappointed, um, and all, but when he slipped her sister uh, indirectly, what does the guy got to do to shake you? Um, well, I didn't know if he didn't want to give anything away. Recently, I was like, oh, well, he breaks my heart and I hate his guts. So my sister and my sister guys. And they were like, spoiler alert. And I was like, okay, I won't say that anymore. Um, but he, yeah, he, I mean, <laughs> at first, you know. But it's also been five years, so she's had time to, to recover and grieve and you know, sort of be okay living, getting to a place where you can be, you know, I have sisters, if something like that happened to me and that guy showed up five years later, it would be not good, you know, but I think she loves him, you know, and I'm just trying to imagine, you know, the person I love doing that, and, uh, I don't, I mean, it's, it's crazy, you know, um, so, but I do think she's sensitive, you know, I think that she's easily upset, I think she has really strong morals and really strong values, and I think she expects everyone to live up to them the way she does, and if they don't, she's not a bullshit, you know, she's, like, not, not for her, but I do think she sees the potential in all of her, I think she's very much for her life, um, so she wants to forgive him, and she wants um, I actually didn't know. But did you lay the cost of her? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I always thought it was really good. And then, um, you know, obviously, I'm right up to my team. What was the audition process like? And did the producers tell you what made you think for them to bring you on? Um, I actually ended up um, reading the script. Once Steven was attached, I just I went in and I had a meeting with them. Uh, Greg Berlanti and David Nutter and Andrew and Mark, they were all familiar with my work. So, you know, they had seen Supernatural, they had seen Melrose Place. I also did a pilot for uh, ABC last year that didn't get picked up. But Greg Berlanti had also seen that. So they knew that I was... I think you know what they were looking for, and it was just a matter of as long as I was on board and after I read it, obviously I was. I sat down with them and we sort of created, creatively, you know, collaborated and um, walked out of that room and shortly after they ended up getting on board. That would be so nice. It's so so like getting that phone call that somebody wants so bad. It's like. It's like the most amazing. I'm getting choked up even talking about it, but it's so it's so exciting. <laughs> <laughs>